Hi, I'm working with Cricut to show you how to make these tags. Okay, I'm going to show you how I made that orange marmalade tag that I'm writing about in this post um, using Cricut. This was the first project I did with Cricut, and so it was a perfect for a newbie. Um, and even if you're not a newbie and you're just curious how to do the tag with the ring around it, or uh, this is a good video for that. All right, so I'm in Cricut Design Space right now. First thing I need to do is open a new file, a new project. Okay, so here's my design space. Um, the next thing I need to do is get the shape of the tag I want. So I am going to go back to the Cricut um, Access that has 30,000 images plus, and I'm going to save you the time, actually 60,000 images, I'm going to save you the time of looking because I know exactly what I want. I want this tag. I like the shape of that little bump up top. So I'm going to insert that onto my design space. One of the things, first things you need to learn about Cricut is everything operates in layers. And if we pop over here, we can see the two layers of this tag. There's the shape of the tag and then there's the, the Noel. I'm going to take the Noel off. And, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to ungroup it. And as long as you have your uh, item kind of outlined here, all these little tools will pop up. So I'm going to ungroup that item. Now you can see that the tag has been broken into two pieces and it's just a matter of pulling that top piece off and deleting it. So now I just have my orange tag, which is going to be printed on white paper, so it doesn't matter that it's orange here, but I'm a little anal, so I need to change it white. And once again, it's a matter of clicking on that item, the layer attributes, attributes pop up, and I'm just going to change that color to white. All right, then the next thing I want to do is I want to um, make my tag into the size I want. Right now it's two inches, a little over two inches. I want to make it about an inch and a half. I could do it this way, um, but I'm just going to do it this way. So right there, 1.49 is about an inch and a half. Um, there we go. So I've changed the size. All right. The next thing I want to do is I want to get that little circle, the ring on the inside that I have in that picture. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to, this is the way I figured out how to do it. There may be another way, but um, this is the way I'm doing it now. So I'm going to pull up two circle shapes all right and one of my shapes and if we look back over here in layers you see my two circles and my tag which is now kind of hard to see since it's white but it's you can see a very faint outline there um one of my shapes i'm going to turn a different color just so i can keep track of it so there we go so now it's mango and I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller. Right now they're the exact same size. I'm just going to make it just a touch smaller. And then I'm going to layer, put it on top of the black circle. All right. Um, if you can see, it's not centered perfectly, which is not a problem because what we all we need to do is outline it. And then these items pop up up here. If if a tool doesn't pop up, then just make sure you've got the whole thing outlined. Um, and I'm going to center it. And if you watch the circle when I hit center, it just puts it in the center of all things. All right. This next tool is a fun tool, um, the slice tool over here. Once again, this, this whole item is outlined. So I can use these tools over here. And I'm going to slice this. And by slicing it, I now can take that part off and delete it, and this part off and delete it. And all I'm left is this ring. And that's exactly what I want. Now I know it's got to be a good bit smaller. I know that that's an inch and a half. And right now this is two and a half inch, 2.4 inches. So I can just move it into an inch and to a little less than an inch and a half. I just want it to be right on a border. So it has to be, so let's try that. Now, as much as that aligned center thing is fantastic, it doesn't work because of the, on this thing, because of this bump. It just doesn't know where the center is. So um, you just have to do it manually. And I hope it's probably pretty close there. Remember, perfection is the enemy of the good, right? All right, that's pretty good. We're going to leave that. We're going to call that good. Uh, now I need to add my text. And um, I want this to say orange marmalade. Okay, and I do know 
what font I want. And Cricut has a ton of fonts. I know that this font is one of the has is in the subcategory of has a writing style font, which I like those in general. So I'm going to go to the has a writing style, and the name of it is there we all let them populate thoughts and phrases. Emmeline. Here we go. Um, I know I want to center this, so I'm going to go over here and center that. And do you see all these spaces between the letters? One of the great things is you can control that completely right here with letter spacing. So I'm going to move those letters a little closer so it looks like you know one can solid cursive. You do have to watch, um, do it a little bit at a time because it like see right here where it's getting a little wonky. The RRs are getting a little wonky because I mushed it too much. So I'm gonna go back out one. There we go. I can also control this the space between the orange and the marmalade and that looks about right okay um, I know this is going to have to be a good bit smaller so let's just try I know it's going to be have to be less than an inch and a half wide so let's try 1.4 I think that's probably still too big but let's try a little bit too big so I'm just going to move that in And just a little bit in. There we go. Um, so let's look back over here on the layers panel. I have three layers. I have the, the writing, the font here, and it shows me this symbol tells me that it's going to be written, which is what I want. I have my sliced image, this ring. This icon tells me it's going to be cut, which I don't want. So that's as simple as clicking it on, clicking on it and telling it that actually I want that layer to be written. So there you go, that's now gonna be written. So that's easy. And then the tag, the shape of the tag is gonna be cut. That's exactly what I want too. All right, so I have my three layers, but if you look here, they're kind of three separate layers. How, and in order to print it, they have to be one layer. So that's just a matter of highlighting that and attaching these layers. And if you look here, when I hit attach, now this whole set is attached. That's critical. That was one of my things I didn't figure out right away, that you have to make sure everything's attached. All right, so this is now an attached project. If you don't attach them, what's gonna happen is they're gonna print separately. It's not gonna print as a tag. It'll cut the tag, it'll write the letters, it'll write your circle, but they won't be all on one thing. All right, now we're gonna hit this because our project is ready to be sent to my machine. I only want one of these for this project. If I wanted to print off a bunch of them, I just control that up here, all right? And you also need to control, tell it what material size is. I actually have a eight and a half by 11 piece of paper I'm putting in there. So that really doesn't matter because I only have one, but say I had 10 of them, it would need to know whether it could print all the way over here or it just needs to stay within that yellow line, all right? So then I tell it to go. Now, right now, it's waiting to communicate to my cricket, which I needed to turn on. And so it's it's turning on. You might hear that in the background. Um, and once that connects, it's going to tell me here. It's going to ask me the uh, what kind of material I'm using. And I believe I have it set on custom right now. I do. Um, and I am just going to be using cardstock. I can also put this on, um, I can also control what I'm using on the machine, but I'll just do it right there. Okay. The next thing to do is to load it. And so I'm going to stop this video and um, merge up with the next one. So we just left the computer that told me that the next step was to load my cart, my paper into the printer. First though, we need to get our pen that we're gonna to use to write into the slot here. All right, lock that. Um, and I have put my cardstock on a standard grip map and I'm going to just put that in and line that up all right I'm using the regular cutting blade just the standard cutting blade I'm just using cardstock and over here it's telling me 
it's ready to load. So you just kind of push that in until it's snug up against the rollers and then it will do the rest. And once this, then this button starts, you hit that. And because I'm doing several steps here, I'm gonna have to um, watch that button. It, it will prompt me when I need to hit it again. So you can see it's blinking again. So I need to hit that again. find the writing is somewhat fascinating. I, can, I find myself just kind of trance by it. So now it's done with the writing and now it's going to cut it. And then over here I can Pull that, push that out, and you can see my little tag there. And one of the things I've learned to make everything release is to pull the back away. And there is my little orange marmalade tag.